thanks for watching. And today I want to discuss a little probability paradox that actually affected me a lot in my childhood. And that's called the Monty Hall problem. And the reason I'm talking about this is because when I was younger, I used to watch the German version of it called Gay of Skanze with my grandmother all the time after Wheel of Fortune or Glücksrad. And <laughs> I was completely fooled because I thought it was a legitimate game. Turns out mathematically it's a little bit tweaked, at least under our model. And here's the setup. Suppose you have three doors, okay, twines, door two, or door three. And I'm telling you, behind one of those doors is a fancy new shiny car, something like that, oh, some eye or something. But under the other two doors, behind the other two doors, there is a, you know, a goat or toast pies. And in German, it was some rat, red rat called the Zong, or something like that. <laughs> Weird looking rat, but yeah, it's kind of fuzzy though. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, and so the way this game works is simply first, you pick one of those doors, let's say door two, and then the host reveals, host had a great German mustache, I still remember, it was great. He reveals one of the doors which doesn't have a car, which here would be door three. And then he asks you, are you sure of your choice? Or would you want to switch? And then either you say, no, I want to keep this door, and he reveals that door to you and you lose, or you switch, and then he reveals the door and you win a car and you go home pretty happy. Right? Now, it seems like a very fair game, right? There should be a chance of winning, you know. You should have equal chance of winning by switching the door or by just staying with your choice. It turns out this is not true. And in fact, here's a paradoxical fact. If you switch doors, it actually doubles your chances. So switching doors doubles your chances. I was completely fooled by this, but let me show you why that's true mathematically. And let's just do it by cases, and I'm just going to do one of them because the other cases are similar. So case one, suppose that the car is behind door one. Door one. So the car is here, just as in my previous picture, and the other ones have songs in them, da da da. So suppose we're in this scenario here, and as I said, just try out the other two scenarios where the car is behind door two or car is behind door three, and you see it's the same thing. And then, well, it depends on your choice, right? So suppose you pick door one, so case 1A. Pick door one, okay. this one. Then the host reveals the door, you know, a door which doesn't have the car, which would be door two or three. And again, it's the same thing, so without loss of generality. Let's say it picks door three. You can do the same thing with the other door. If, and let's see, well, if you switch, Suppose you original pick door one, but then you attempt it and switch door. So if you switch door here, then you lose. And if you don't, what? 
if you stay with your original choice, then you win. And remember, we want to figure out the probability of winning by switching. So in this case, if you switch, you lose. So switching loses. So in this first case, it's actually bad to switch. OK, second case. So case 1b, you pick door 2. So again, same situation. In this case, you pick the second door. And the third one, remember, still has that song. Oh, and very fluffy rat. So, but I prefer Oreo. So suppose you pick door two, and remember, the host has to eliminate a door which doesn't have a car, which means here for sure, he has to eliminate door three. And now notice, suppose you had your original choice and you switch, then you actually win. So here, if you switch, you win. If you don't, you lose. You lose. So here, actually, switching wins. So if you original chose this and you switch, you win the car. Good, good feeling. All right, and lastly, so in this case, you win by switching. And lastly, suppose if you pick door, door three. So again, let me redraw this picture. So you have the song here again. Da, da, da. I like this beret here. It's very nice. Okay. Suppose you pick this door here. Then again, the host has to eliminate a door which doesn't have a car, which has to be door two. And here, it's the same situation. If you switch, then you win the car. So if you switch, you win. And if you don't, if you stay with your choice, you lose. So here, switching wins again. All right, now, just to summarize, we had three cases here. One, where switching loses, and two, where switching wins. So in the end, well, because for two cases out of three, switching wins, the probability of winning by switching is uh, two-thirds. So that's cases D and C. So and similarly, the probability of losing by switching or winning by not switching is one-third. So in fact, as what I said, if you actually switch doors, it doubles your chances. It increases your winning probability one one-third to two-thirds. And you might say, oh my god, how, how was I, you no, know, how can I be fooled by this? And I was. And that's because we usually think in terms of conditional probabilities. It is true that once you reveal the door, one of the doors, then there's a one-half chance, right, of winning. Because you do have two doors. But you have to remember what led you to this part. Namely, if you actually led to this part, you have to be sort of in cases 1b or 1c, which are more favorable. So that's sort of an issue that we have a bit too much information. The more information we have, you know, the, you know, the more deluded we are, I guess, in terms of probability. So I was, I was fooled. It's OK. I'm, I'm still fine. And, uh, by the way, this is also one thing about three doors. I think if you have like four doors or more, it's actually uh, you know, not that favorable to switch. So, but 
it's a it's it's a nice <laughs> it's a nice game and remember also um Usually the game doesn't always work like that. Sometimes the host doesn't reveal a door and just tells you, hey, you lost the game. <laughs> okay. All right, so if you like this little paradoxical probability excursion and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.